Hi, I'm Charlie, a postdoc at the Centre for Biodiversity and Environment Research. Today, I'm going to share some preliminary work where I try to identify those areas most at risk from biodiversity dependent ecosystem service loss due to the lack of natural habitat. We know that biodiversity and agriculture are one part of a very complicated food production system. Agriculture has a major influence on biodiversity through land use change and also intensification. But biodiversity also feeds back to agricultural production, including through the provision of essential ecosystem services. Maintaining biodiversity within agricultural systems is therefore important to ensure that these services are protected into the future, especially since there is a need to feed an ever growing human population. One factor that has been shown to be important for maintaining biodiversity within agricultural areas is the availability of natural or semi-natural habitat. And a number of local to regional scale studies have shown how the amount or distance to natural habitat can affect cropland biodiversity. And I've recently been looking into this and other landscape scales factors in a global study to see how these variables affect local richness and abundance and whether the effects differ between the temperate and tropical realms. And we found a positive effect of percentage of natural habitat in both realms, but with a particularly strong effect in temperate regions. So in this work, I hope to investigate further what the consequences of a lack of natural habitat in the landscape surrounding croplands might be. First, I've tried to identify those areas most at risk, so those areas with little natural habitat surrounding the croplands. And then I've quantified the potential loss of biodiversity within those areas. Using Martin Young's maps of terrestrial habitats and just taking those that can be considered natural habitat and looking at those areas where crops are grown, this map highlights the amount of natural habitat within those cropland areas. And you can see that there are vast areas where there is less than 20% of natural habitat within cropland systems. And of course, these tend to be major production areas. If we take a look at the countries that are the top 50 producers of crops according to FAO data and assess the amount of natural habitat available for croplands within those countries, we can identify a kind of top and bottom 10 kind of table for those countries. And of course, the UK is in the bad table. To assess the impact this might have on biodiversity, I ran some simple mixed effects models on data from the PREDICTS database to determine the general response of biodiversity to the proportion of natural habitat in the surrounding landscape. For total abundance, there was significant interaction with land use with positive effects for natural habitat seen in croplands and secondary vegetation. And for richness, there was an overall positive effect of natural habitat. I then used the coefficients from the model to project the change in both species abundance and species richness in cropland areas. And you can see that in those areas where there is very little natural habitat within cropland systems, we can see declines of both richness and abundance of up to around 10% relative to those areas where high levels of natural habitat are available. So as I said, these are very preliminary investigations so far, and I'd like to take this work further. So I'll be looking at similar responses for pollinator and pest control of biodiversity specifically. I would also like to look into which crops might be most at risk and also where the demand for the crops produced in high risk areas is coming from. But if you have any ideas on how I could take this forward, I am all ears. Thank you very much for listening.